It's just off of Sunset Boulevard. Uh, what you're viewing here is an aerial photo. Uh, where I'm pointing down below would be the front door. Uh, it's a two-story mansion, um, large yard, pool, uh, lots of privacy. Mr. Jackson uh, lived there with his family, his three young children, Prince, his young daughter, Paris, and his youngest son, Blanket. It was Michael and his three children that lived there on a permanent basis. He had staff, he had security, he had a nanny, he had a chef, but it was Michael and his three children that lived at 100 North Carrollwood, which came to be where Michael would die. What do we know about Conrad Murray at this time? Well, we know Conrad Murray uh, was a medical doctor. He was not an anesthesiologist. He was not board certified in cardiology. In fact, at the time of Michael Jackson's death, Conrad Murray was not board certified in any medical specialty. But Conrad Murray had met Michael Jackson previously in Las Vegas when Michael was living there in 2006. They had uh, remained in contact. Dr. Murray had uh, treated the children while in Vegas for various minor ailments such as uh, runny nose and things of that nature. Uh, he had treated Michael for uh, various minor uh, ailments over the period of time. But they main co maintained contact from that point of time in 2006 through 2009. And what you'll learn is that in March 2009, Michael requested that Conrad Murray accompanied him on his O2 tour, the This Is It tour. Conrad Murray readily agreed to participate and accompany Michael on this tour. What you'll learn is that Conrad Murray initially requested payment of $5 million for one year of medical service. This was quickly rejected uh, and an offer of $150,000 a month was put on the table. What you will learn is that soon a contract had been drafted and Murray was to be hired, Dr. Murray was to be hired as an independent contractor. <clears throat> Part of the terms of the contract uh, provided that Murray would get, provide general medical care, that he would provide medical emergency care, and that he would provide reasonably requested services. And this was all to be for the tour in London, the This Is It tour. In exchange for what Dr. Murray was to provide per the terms of the contract, Dr. Murray was going to receive, as I indicated, $150,000 a month, airfare to and from London, and housing in London for the duration of the tour. Again, the $5 million request of Dr. Murphy, Mur Murray excuse me, was rejected, and the agreed upon amount was $150,000 a month. <clears throat> what you also learn is that this contract was never signed by the parties. What you will learn is that Conrad Murray, uh, both as an individual uh, and as part of his, uh, his medical practice, signed the contract and it's dated June 24, 2009. No representative from AEG, the tour promoter, had signed it. And at the bottom, no representative, well, specifically Michael Jackson, had not signed it. So although it had not been signed, Conrad Murray had made it very clear that he welcomed the opportunity to enter this lucrative agreement. In fact, Conrad Murray made it so abundantly clear of his intention to enter into this lucrative agreement that he soon told his clients, uh, that he, his previous medical clients, to find another doctor. He sent out letters in June of 2009 advising his clients, because of a once in a lifetime opportunity, I had to make a most difficult decision to cease practice of medicine indefinitely. So he was saying goodbye to his clients with the intention of signing on for this $150,000 lucrative uh, agreement that he at least through words had reached with Michael Jackson. 
I've told you a little bit about what Michael Jackson was doing at that time, and I've told you a little bit what Conrad Murray was doing at that time. You also need to know a little bit about propofol, and you'll hear a great deal about propofol throughout this trial. What is propofol? Propofol is a general anesthetic agent. It's defined as an intravenous sedative hypnotic agent for the use in the induction and maintenance of anesthesia or sedation. Put simply, it's what's used to put you under when you have to be, uh, uh, have forced mechanical ventilation, if you have to have surgical procedure, it is used in a hospital to put you under. It is not a sleep aid, it is not a sleep agent. It is a general anesthetic. It has great strengths. It is a wonderful drug if used by someone who knows what they are doing, someone who respects the dangers as well as the benefits of the drug. Some of its favorable properties include the quick onset of sedation. It acts rapidly. Also, at the end of it, rapid return to consciousness. So it acts quickly and it also brings you back out rather quickly. Minimal post-operative nausea or vomiting. You generally feel okay once uh, you come back out of it. However, with every benefit comes a cost.